Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of Sun Dragon Tips and Tricks. I'm Rebecca, I may have forgotten to say that in the other video I tried to do today. Um, I am down in Brevard, North Carolina, where we are recovering from some extreme weather, but luckily I have power, so I'm going to do a video for you guys today. This is my crochet video of the day, and I have some customers working on the French market bag, and that involves some decreases, so I thought I would go over single crochet and double crochet decreases just just crocheting two together same concept applies when you're doing more than two but we're going to talk about how that works so come on with me and let's get to it okay so crochet decreases the here's the trick whatever stitch you're doing you want to stop one what i call a set of two when there's two loops left there's a lot of crochet stitches where you are doing, you're, you're yarning over and pulling through sets of two. And for, for most of them, you want to stop one set of two before the end of the stitch. And then do another stitch where you also stop one set of two before the end. And then you're going to yarn over and go through everything that's left. It's going to take the beginnings of two stitches and merge them into one. So let's take a look at how that works on a single crochet decrease. So I, if I zoop back over here, A, B, and C. Did that over here too. On A, this is what it looks like when you have done a single crochet stitch but you've stopped one stitch before. So on A, for a single crochet, you're going to push into designated hole yarn over and pull up a loop but then you're gonna stop don't complete the stitch so if we color code these like we've been doing let me get some colors out here Let's make that guy pink. That yarn over and pull up a loop is pink. So if we come down to B, we have that guy right here. We're going to push into next hole. yarn over, pull up another loop, stop. Let's make that one purple. Now I'm going to draw some of it here because I have the, the end result down in C. So for C, you want to yarn over and pull through all the loops. Let me give this a little more space because our yarn over is going to come right here, get caught in the hook. I'm gonna, let's see, yarn over. I'm going to put it down here. Ha ha ha. Pull through remaining that yarn over. Let's make him green. This last yarn over, I'm drawing C up here. I'm, I apologize if that's confusing, but that is going to get pulled through everything. All three loops pulls everything, squishes it together. So the colors on this guy, the green has gotten pulled through everything. So he's now up on the hook. 
This one's our very first loop, so he's clear. Here's the pink guy who's pulling from this first stitch. And then what looks like more of a bubble down here is the purple guy from the second stitch. But you can see there's two stitches here and there's only one stitch above him on the next row. That's our decrease. A double, I just did the end part of a double for us. This is what it will look like. Let's see, double crochet, decrease. This is what it will look like on step B. If you get all the way to step B, we have our first stitch with two parts. Let's keep some of the colors the same. But on a double, remember, you're yarning over first and you're getting through. You yarn over, you go in, you pull up a loop. You've got three, you're gonna do one set of two. You're gonna have two stitches left. Before you finish it, you're gonna go on to this one. And you're gonna yarn over and go into this hole. This will make a, probably a lot more sense when we do it in person with real yarn. You're gonna get through one of your pull throughs. We're not gonna diagram out all the steps because I don't have enough colors. But then we're gonna do the final yarn over. I can still keep him green. And he is going to pull through everything. And when you do that, you end up with this whole stack of gobbledygook, which was kind of hard for me to try to sketch out, but we've got the green is now up on the hook. The top loop is our clear. This part of it is our first stitch, and this part of it is our second stitch. There might have been a loop or two left out of that, but two stitches, one stitch at the top. So here is a row of single crochets that I'm going to do single crochet decrease on top of. I'm going to give myself one chain to give myself height, but I've got my first hole and my second hole. So I am going to go into my first hole, push in front to back, yarn over, and pull up a loop. Remember, stop one set of two, stop one step before the end that would finish it if I yarned over and went through two. So I'm gonna to go to my next hole. I'm gonna push in front to back, yarn over and pull up a loop. And now I've got three. It's an awful lot like that picture, remember? So now I'm gonna yarn over and I'm gonna pull through everything. And that takes two stitches and now there's only one on top. I'll do it again. I'm gonna go over to this third stitch. I go in, yarn over and pull up a loop and then I'm going to go in my next hole I'm going to stop before I finish yarn over and pull up a loop now I'm going to yarn over and go through everything again one two three four stitches below only two stitches up here in yarn over pull up a loop stop next stitch in yarn over pull up a loop, stop, part C, yarn over and go through everything. I only have an odd number left, so I can do one more for you and then I'll show you double. So in, yarn over, pull up a loop, stop, in, yarn over, pull up a loop, stop, yarn over and go through everything. Now, let me turn this way. I only have a few holes here, but I'm going to do some double crochet decreases. Remember, you got to go up to go over. I'm going to just do two to give me some height so I can start doing this. Yarn over to start a double crochet. Into your designated hole, yarn over, pull up a loop. Now, it would be two sets of two to finish this, but I want to stop one set of two before the end. So I'm going to yarn over, go through two. I'm only going to do one of them gonna set up for my next stitch yarn over this hole I already did I'm gonna go to this hole 
in, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two, stop, three stitches, just like that drawing I showed you. Now I'm going to yarn over and go through everything. That will give me two stitches with only one little hole on top. Let me try that one more time for you. Next one, yarn over, into that loop, into that hole, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, one set of two, stop. Set up for my next one, yarn over, into the hole, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, one set of two, two half finished stitches, yarn over, go through everything. I've decreased from eight to four to two. Thanks for joining us on crochet decreases. If you were told to crochet three single crochets together, you would just repeat the process until you had three stitches on there and pull through everything. That can be a really sharp decrease. It's really great on the French market bag that I've been teaching because it cinches things up really great. You get a big square and so. <laughs> so you know, let me know if you have questions, subscribe, comment, suggest other things that we can do. Let me know if you wanna do a one-on-one -on -one lesson. We have prepaid fees for virtual lessons. We'll do the best we can with them. I'm really good about trying to give you as much time as you need. I wanna keep you crafting. I'd love to keep my shop going during this crazy time too, <laughs> but I really want to keep people engaged in the process and doing what they love and hopefully making really cool things and getting something out of it. There's a lot of de-stressing you can get out of your soul doing crafting. There's a lot of keeping your hands busy that's wonderful. There's a lot of benefits. Um, I, it's really my go-to to try to de-stress and isn't there a lot of stress right now? So. We love you. We miss you all. Welcome to the newbies who are just finding us. Let us know what you think. We would love to grow this community and you are part of it now. Stay home and stay safe. Hi yeah, baby. Were you not having fun in the filming room so you came out here? Yes. Yes. Oh I know. Okay. This is what we should all be doing right now. <laughs>